All right, well, this vlog captures all the insanity from our bus warming party <laughs> and our official maiden voyage in the bus. And there were so many things that went wrong on this day. <laughs> Uh, oh boy. So uh, bear with us. Uh, the audio gets a little sketchy in certain areas while we're in the car and panicking and dealing with all different types of stress. So I really hope you guys enjoy this one. And thanks again for everyone that showed up to our bus warming party. It really meant a lot to us to see the support and it was really fun to show the bus off. Yeah, by the time we got to the bus warming party, we were like at anxiety stress levels of a thousand and so the camera didn't get picked up too much but we had a lot of people that came out and showed us love uh keep in mind this is all pre-pandemic okay there wasn't anything called uh coronavirus at that time so there's no mass no none of that in this video so enjoy pre pre-pandemic times oh miss parties Lastly, it's been a few vlog episodes since I've mentioned it, but we do have a Patreon account. And if you guys have been maybe thinking about supporting the journey ahead, feel free to check out the description and see the link to our Patreon page and all the other great ways that you can support our channel. <laughs> I was going to add something in the nervous. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do you want to add? You can also support our channel by just sharing a video. Liking, yeah. commenting, whatever. So do whatever you can. We appreciate you being here. Yeah, just by watching our channel, you're supporting us. So thanks. Yep. Peace. Bye. All right, we promised a shit show yesterday, and we're going to deliver a shit show today. Oh, toilet cleaning. Speaking of shit show. Speaking of shit show. <laughs> that was good. <coughs> I know, I heard you in the other room. I had it all planned. <laughs> <coughs> Do you guys like my sexy voice? <laughs> oh, wow. Ooh. Ooh. She's specific. Okay. Whoa. What? She oh, so <laughs> I was trying to say sophisticated. Oh, sophisticated. <laughs> but that didn't happen. Why are she, we why are we purple right now? She's sophisticated. This she's, light is weird. She's sophisticated. This is gonna be real interesting. No, I think it's gonna bend. It'll be fine. Yeah, I just need to hold it in place. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, get your laptop out of the way though. You're scaring me. <laughs> okay, we've got to pack up a whole bunch of stuff from the apartment. Uh, and then we've got to somehow ratchet down the mattress, throw it in the back of the truck, and then drive out to Union and get started on final touches for the bus warming party. What do you want to do? I want to go eat now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm really hungry. I can't do anything before I eat. Monica's stomach was like... Is blacking it, out. It's on like 11 right now. Yeah, it's real loud. All right, we are fed and coffeed. Cole's got ratchet straps. And this is part one of us trying to get our bed out of here and into our bus. What I'm gonna do is the bed's gonna shift as we saw earlier. So I'll stand on that side and hold it in place and then you'll just go ahead and fold it in half unless you want to reverse rolls on that. And I can put my fat ass on the bed. It'd probably be better since I have bounced off of it. So you're aiming that side to right here. I need you to lay down on it. This is actually working really well if you can't. You gotta bring your weight a little bit back though. You're touching my butt. Don't grab me to Bam! Are we ready for me? Yeah! Are we ready for me to, to get up? 
Yeah. Damn, dog. I'll tighten up this side a little bit. But so, I think this is going to fit. I mean, it'll take some smushing, but it, it squishes pretty well still. So That's what she said. Oh my god. So I think we caught it between the rain. It doesn't look to be raining outside, but it is super wet. So Monica went to go lay down some towels in the truck bed, and then we're going to carry out the mattress here. <laughs> Just stand it up. Put it. Put your side down. down. Coming down. Okay. You, you have to have. I'll give it. Okay, because the whole weight's coming on you. Yeah. I'm not even mad it's cold today. It feels good. Yeah. I'm so hot. All right, one body, I mean mattress, in the truck. <laughs> All right, we got a few more trips down to the truck, but I think we're actually going to be out of here on time. We got to get the truck back out to Union because Jim and Anna have to pack up the truck with all of the party stuff they're bringing to get it in town ahead of us actually being there at the party. Uh, apparently my mom doesn't want us to show up early and uh, they got to prep so and we've got a ton of stuff to still do with the bus to kind of stage it and whatnot. It's ridiculous. We have yeah. slept in our apartment for the last time. Yeah. Weird. This is the last day of occupation. Yeah. Adventure awaits. What's going on, Cole? Is the lighting good? Yeah. <laughs> this morning, I left my favorite coffee mug on the roof of the truck, and somehow it stayed on top of it, and I was able to recover it. And I was like, that's the universe telling me something. And then right before we left, I was looking for the key for the truck and I emptied my pockets. And one of the, and one of the things that I left, I put on the roof was the keys to my vehicle that I'm selling. And on it is one of the fobs. That's $800 to replace one of those fobs. But I'm really upset about this and I freaked out for like a good fucking five to ten minutes there's a construction zone that it just so happened to be at that they fell off the roof of my vehicle so they've got two lanes that are fully closed right now there so I know I can pull off so that's what I'm gonna do and see if I can't fucking <coughs> recover my goddamn fucking dignity for the day all right, here we are in Highway 44, folks, and there are Cole's keys. So he's waiting until there's a complete spot uh, open so nothing happens. Um, I just can't believe we fucking found them. Looks like the fob is gone, but everything else is there. All right, it has been a day right now. Um, got to the bus. I've now found like three leaks because we haven't actually been in the bus um, when it's pouring down rain. Oh, yeah. So siliconing those and here they are with the bed. Hey, that's a good fit. I like that. Sweet. It is inside. That is a great start. That part was easy. Now what happens? Now, does it now we turn it. Someone's probably, you want oh. me to get in there and turn it? We probably should have done that. At the, can you get back out there, Jim? And Well, I can't. Shove it in the corner to your right. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Oh. And we have got a queen-size mattress in here. So everywhere around the bus where we're parked is super wet. I mean, the wettest it could possibly be. And I'm just having flashbacks to getting the bus stuck like we did previously. It's gonna be really difficult for me to 
turn this bus in such a manner to straighten it out to get it out of the driveway. So I'm gonna try to maneuver and make that action before Jim leads. Uh, Jim leaves for the party, uh, so we can not run into a repeat of last time. All right, Jim gave me some guided help and I've now got the bus pointed directly out the driveway so we'll definitely be able to get out of here. All right, the plus side of the rain is we've identified where two of our main leaks are in the bus and so Monica is taking advantage of that and putting in some waterproof 100% silicone, uh, what do you call that shit? Caulk? Just silicone. Or that, so. <laughs> yeah. Side thought, I'm still loving this uh, cabinet up here. Did a really good job, Jim. Monica, too. It's gonna hide that cable perfectly and then also give me room for my batteries right here. We got it in here, but we don't know if we can make the bed. <laughs> I, I can get my arms around all four corners because I had to pull the, uh, <laughs> I had to pull the topping, like, tight. Push. Watch your head. We thought this was a weatherproof case, but it ended up only being a cover. Thanks, Steinmark. <laughs> oh, I missed that. <laughs> so maybe I got it. Head hit, like hit number one. Cubby's perfect. The size of this is perfect. Yeah, we have a couple inches to spare, which was necessary on each side. Yeah. Um, so that's good. So great. Yeah. Really nailed it here. I don't yeah. know how the fuck we did that. Yeah, maybe we can have something that's like removable as a headboard. That way when we're trying to scooch the bed around a little bit. We'll have um, to. That will be helpful. <sighs> All right. So we are on our way to the party. This is the beginning. It is. This is the first time that like we're sitting in these seats together. I'll put on my seatbelt. We've, please. Um... We've obviously ridden in the bus together before, but this is like our first kind of outing. So, um, are we gonna have to move your car? <laughs> we may. Um, I didn't okay. double check or put anything it's up against little... the books up there. So we made it to Quick Trip, about a mile away. <laughs> um, we we're stopping to fill up with fuel, um, just cause our gauge is broken right now. So we need to make sure we have enough fuel to get us there. Um, we had a couple of these cabinet doors opening, so luckily I had a hair tie and I just tied those up for now, but um, for as like rattling as it is and it sounds, um, I definitely thought it would be a lot worse, so I guess everything's pretty secure, but we don't have, you know, even half of our belongings in here yet, so I'm sure it'll get worse. <laughs> We're just watching it roll up like, uh, Yo. hey. Well, this is good to know that our diesel gauge may not be broken. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I don't think it's broken. Nope, it sure isn't. <laughs> I, think, I think the diesel gauge is probably going to be fine when we turn it on here. Here we go. Here's our first close to full tank, $74.21. Okay, so we're freaking out. Um, we just got on the highway for the first time and one of our solar panels flew off the fucking roof. So Cole ran down. I can see him now. Um, we are on the highway and there's like so much traffic and we are not pulled over in a good spot. Um, but he's over there trying to take a look at it. I think my dad's gonna maybe come meet us somewhere if he has to. Um, we're gonna try to put ratchet straps around the one that's up there just to like see if that can keep it on there and we'll just go really slow. We'll take the back roads or something the rest of the way to the party. but. I really hope by a miracle that this panel is okay, but I'm just like, I know it's probably not, so. Um, okay, well on this exciting episode of Bus Life Possible. Yo, let me tell you what a solar panel looks like flying off your roof at 65 miles an hour. Not fucking cool. And Surreal. like- Surreal. We were just talking and like, we did hear a really loud pop and we both looked at each other and we're like, what the fuck was that? And. We just didn't immediately pull, pull over, and then what, like, 20 seconds later, we hear, next, like, 
a shift and look behind us and the solar panel flew off yeah the, the next wind gust that came i'm yeah. pretty sure the first one took the two front brackets off and the second one took the whole panel i am shaking right now yeah me too both are, but For yeah sure. i'm just like so grateful that it landed off the highway and yeah oh didn't, my god like yeah Yikes. that really that's upsetting but so, i'm gonna stop thinking about that now we're moving on yep another universe another time yeah um and uh i'm gonna go up the side ladder for the first time while it's wet and see if i can't put uh two uh straps additionally around the solar panel that's still on the bus just for additional security and see what the bolt situation is looking like up there yeah i'm probably gonna bring uh my wrenches with me yeah, I got my two wrenches, and uh, I'll see if anything's loose, and then I will strap these around it, and then just pull it tight, and that will give us some additional insurance, but we're taking the back roads from here. Oh, yeah. We're not going over 40 miles an hour. All right, so we weren't able to... We're just short on our ratchet straps. Yeah, by like a couple inches. To um, be able to secure them. So... I think our only option is to take back roads and just go super slow. Um, yeah. Cole's so, gotta... so my shoes are soaked. I'm soaked to the bone. So I got to get in dry clothes real quick, which we brought some. But the uh, the one panel that's up there, it's very secure, but it's completely shattered. Like so... this, the one that flew off of our vehicle, like not even shattered in the least bit but what's strange is the one up top is shattered yeah. so um which i'm guessing that i wonder if it flipped up over on top of it or something yeah i'm, I'm guessing it could be the impact from this one for yeah. sure i mean this is a heavy panel yeah um but that one's secure up there so i feel like if we don't go fast we should be able to get there no issues yeah. Ladder seems secure, deck seems secure. Like, those were different bolts. You can see that it ripped out here. Yeah. This metal, I tugged on it as hard as I could and there was no give in the screws left. It's just that the front panel is the one that flew off and uh, and uh, so obviously it took the heavy part of the wind up front. And uh, so that second panel is what's left up there right now. All right, so it's been like 45 minutes, maybe an hour since this whole ordeal started. Um, but we found a hardware store nearby. We went like 35 miles an hour here. Um, still sounded like there was a lot of like wind pickup underneath the second panel. Um, so, so we're taking it down so we can feel like we can safely drive the rest of the way. So that's what we were doing. Um, the owner of the shop let us borrow a ladder and a socket wrench so that's what we're working on right now Hi. it's windy it's cold i can't feel my fingertips anymore. we got the solar panel off of the roof the deck seems really sturdy yeah um so, so we're gonna go ahead like i said this one this one's got smashed which you're not gonna be able to see here but yeah. i'll try to show you later we're gonna get this in the bus now all right so thank uh, you rock so Rock wasn't too amped about getting a shout out in the video, but he didn't say no either. <laughs> if you guys are taking Route 66 and are a fan of the vlog and want to stop off in Gray Summit uh, to say hi to Rock and his wife. <laughs> and Roy, if you need name. anything. They're the people to, to stop at. I'm really appreciative yeah. of, uh, of yep. them helping us out. All right, now to the party. Hey, you're on our vlog. Hi! I was like Christmas. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, it looks different since you last saw it. Yeah. Yikes. Hi. Oh, I feel so conflicted right now. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys want to come in the bus? Yeah. Yes. Don't make, Hi, Abby. Don't make me get your car. Uh -oh. uh, oh, there we go. I knew that was going to be fun for the kids. 
Sammy. Uh, is that just your storage? Yeah. yeah. I, I like to feel like I'm going to throw up, so. <laughs> yeah, same. Sammy was very interested in uh, his picture, how that picture got on that case. Oh, yeah? <laughs> That's cute. I said, I don't know, Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> I can give you a grand tour too. This is my mother. She put on the show. Hi. I think Monica showed you guys the cake already. I'm uh, I'm still like rattled from this morning, and uh, I'm trying to eat some pasta salad because I haven't eaten anything. Boy, crazy day. Michael, say hi to the vlog. What up, vlog? About to start this mission. <laughs> Michael does uh, reality TV show pilots. There's a lot of television producing. Uh, involved with the film scene locally. He's a good guy to know if you're looking to get things going video-wise. Help! <laughs> Help us! Hey, what's the fun thing on that? This is Fun Ken. This is my brother. He came in from Chicago to, to be at the bus morning party. Hi. This is his wife, Kate. She's great. That's my mom again and my sister, Caitlin. I'm going to be so sad when they leave. Caitlin's been in the vlog already. She's helped a couple of times. Are you taking a video? Yeah. Oh, I'll stop smiling. Okay. Um, you didn't ask me any advice for your trip. Well, you like two cents. Uh, yeah, tell us something. Okay, well, the first thing is, I don't think you should drive the bus up a mountain. Okay. I think you should park at the bottom and rent a car and drive up the mountain. Okay. Is that good advice? Yeah, that's, that's good advice. And affordable. And what? And affordable. There's, there's lots of conveniently located rental car places at the bottom of mountains. At the bottom of, at the, at the bottom of every mountain, there's an enterprise. Yeah. Are you taking Harriet? What are you asking for? Yeah, I can't get on the tie. Oh, what's it need to? Oh, it's tied to the chair? Yeah. Who tied it to the chair? Oh. Oh, if you let, here, let me break it. So if you, I don't want you to let go of it on accident. Because then we're never getting it back. They're so cute. Say hi. <laughs> Say hi. Uh, dance for me. Yeah, so cold. Hey. It's been a memorable day. <laughs> In many ways. Yeah. It ain't, so, ain't over yet. <laughs> We're almost there. Yeah. Uh, everything's going to work Not out. I think so too, because. It always does. It will. That deck is pretty durable. I gave it the old cold try when we got here. <laughs> so we're back out in Union at Monica's parents' place where we've been doing all the building. Yep, we made it. Jim and Anna followed us on the way home, took all the back roads, never got on the highway. Nope. Um, just super grateful for everyone that came. Uh, the gift cards, the well wishes, the money, the laughs. Yeah, it was a really good party. It was really well thought out and very personal. And we, I feel really thankful for like everyone and our own support so it was really nice life is just really weird yeah <laughs> it was really nice to be able to see people from super long ago and from i don't know just all sides of your life and things that you do in one place and uh all terrifying too when you're still having ptsd all day because your solar panel ripped off your roof yeah <laughs> Yeah, it was it was rough, but um, we will figure it out. Stay tuned to uh, see how to properly attach them. <laughs> so, if you ever need someone to deliver a shit show, you now know who to come to. <laughs> For real. See you next time. <laughs>